Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a DIY project. I have, as you can see here, some actual, these were decorations that I had in my son's nursery when he was a baby. He's four now, so they've just been sitting in my storage. And so I have some new projects that I wanted to do. And I was trying to think of how I could reuse the materials that I already had, so here we are. So just to go down the list and show you what we have, this is wood, I did not make this. I purchased this, but this is a solid wood frame. So I did hang on to it, you know, with the thought that I could do something with that. This is a canvas print, which I did um, DIY this myself for my son's nursery. I kept that to reuse. And then this one here is also a canvas frame. I purchased it with the chevron on it and I painted these on here. This spot here is where you can see where I used acetone fingernail polish to remove the paint it also removed the chevron so um i didn't continue to remove the paint this project that will be done on this one will have to be an overall recover because i thought i could just get the paint off but you know you can see that came off too but it didn't affect the canvas it's still um sturdy and so this can be used reused as well so for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be taking some, what do you say? I'm going to be taking a picture of my daughter's, her one year birthday picture, and I'm actually going to be making a canvas print out of it using this frame here. So I'm gonna move these items over here to the side. And this is all done using items, excuse me, that I already had. That's what I wanted to make sure that I did. So. This canvas here, um, like I said, I'm gonna use for her picture. I have the picture off to the side here. This is the picture here that I'm going to be affixing to the canvas. I'm gonna be using Mod Podge. And then this is actually a makeup like foundation brush. I don't have any more of my, um, the sponge paint brushes that I normally use. so. Again, using what I have, I'm going to use this. And so, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get into the process here. So, normally, what you would do, um, also, you can thrift canvases fairly cheaply. Brand new canvases are not bad um, in terms of price. When you get them in a pack, which is what I normally do, and a coupon, um, and I wait for like sales at Michael's and things like that. So it's not terribly expensive to get them, you know, if you shop around. However, it is also an easy thing that you can reuse. So for example, I was out thrifting the other day and I was seeing different canvases. I didn't get them because they were overpriced, in my opinion, to be at the thrift store. And for what I was gonna do with them, I could buy brand new ones and not have to worry about painting over what was already on it. So, yes, you wanna keep that in mind. Um, anytime that you find a nice canvas or a nice frame, um, you know, for a cheap price, whether it's at like a thrift store or a garage sale or anything like that, you wanna keep it in mind for crafts because it's a good way to keep the budget down and have some nice one of a kind things. So anyway, like I said, this is the sign that was originally in my son's nursery. I'm going to take my daughter's picture and I'm gonna affix it on here and it's going to be a canvas print. Now, normally you would get the canvas the exact same size as the picture. So this picture is an 11, 11 by 10 or something, 11 by 10, maybe 11 by 13, something to that, of that sort. And as you can see, there is a border around the picture. However, for this project, I think it will work fine because the mar way I marbled the, the paint, it kind of looks like a sort of like a grain to me, like not necessarily wood grain, but it does have its own pattern to it. And the colors do fit in in my living room where I'm gonna place this. And then also, I feel like these colors fit in with the background of her picture as well. So I don't mind that there's going to be a border around here. Now, uh, just an FYI, if you had, um, if you were doing this from a blank canvas or a canvas that you thrifted or are reusing and it has an, a color on it that doesn't work for what you're doing, all you would do is just paint over everything, including the edges. You can see these edges are already painted. You will just paint over it. That'll be your first step and you want to let that dry. And then 
you're gonna do what we're about to do right now so don't worry about what's on the canvas if you find a bunch of canvases that have a good price um you know you can make some do some good projects with them so I'm just gonna shake up the Mod Podge so now this one is gonna be a little different because I want to make sure that I center it to where I want it to be so if this canvas was the exact size of this picture I would just put the Mod Podge all over and then lay the picture down but since this is still going to show I don't want to necessarily do it that way so I'm going to position it where I want it this looks good to me looks pretty centered and then I'm going to start underneath the corners and lay down one side of it to make sure it's in place and then I'm going to work my way up the rest so let me zoom you guys in so you can be focused right on the camera all right so I have that in place give you guys in a nice close up here this is what Mod Podge looks like if you've never seen it, it's basically like paste and water. It says water-based sealer, glue and finish. Um, this one has a sparkle in it, which means it's like speckled with glitter, which is fine for this project. But you want to keep that in mind. When I bought this, I've had this for a while, for a project a long time ago, and I never used it again. So I dug out my craft stuff because I didn't want to buy anything new. As I said in the beginning, I want to use stuff I already had. So it's fine but just pay attention to that when you're choosing what you want to do so i'm just going to take and dip the little makeup sponge in there and i'm going to lift up this corner here i'm going to rub some on the back of the picture and i'm going to rub some on the canvas and i already did what i didn't want to happen so let me get that up very quickly and this as long as you wipe it before it's like fully dried it's fine it's not gonna do anything to cause too much of a problem a little bit of it goes a long way too so you want to pay attention to that and then I'm just gonna work my way around now I don't know usually with Mod Podge when you apply um, elements with it you put a layer of the Mod Podge over top of the medium that you're using which in this case will obviously be the picture I'm going to do underneath first and then I'm going to decide. I don't know if I want to put it over top yet. It's going to slide around a little bit because it's obviously not fully dried. That's okay. You kind of just want to work fast. Wipe off anything that goes around the outside. I'm going to keep adjusting to make sure it stays where I want it positioned and I'm just gonna keep going around. So now that I have it pretty set, I'm gonna go underneath here and just go from top to bottom. Cause you don't wanna keep lifting it up after you put the glue down. So I'm just gonna rub this top to bottom. It's okay if it's a little bit messy point is that you want to get everything secured. Alright, so I'm already getting a little bit on top of the picture, but that's okay. That's allowing me to see that I don't, I'm not going to put that on top. I'm not going to put a layer over top because the glitter and every, I just don't really like how that looks, so I'm just not going to. So then, once you have that glue underneath, you want to smooth it down and just keep working around. I'm going to add some more up here. I'm putting it on the canvas and on the back of the picture. So. say you can do this on top of canvas if you have like that one right there um, that I showed you earlier is wood you can put it on top of wood it's a lot of stuff you can put it on so 
it just depends on the look that you're going for and you can get this stuff from anywhere i know the dollar store has like they're not canvas but they're like poster board almost and um anything that is, has a flat surface that you can apply your image to and that you're able to apply like i use command strips to hang stuff on my wall the velcro ones anything that you can apply those have a, a place on back where you can apply those is good and yeah anything you can cover anything up i mean as long as you can paint it you can cover it so you want to be careful getting it on the top of the picture if you don't plan let me test something out here and see what i think It's just because of the glitter. I might do it around the edge. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll apply a little around the edge, which is also gonna seal it down too. But I don't mind it being on the edge. Now again, if this wasn't the glitter, I wouldn't be worried too much about it, but I think I don't want the glitter on her picture, on her face in the picture. So let's, let's go around the edge. Give it like a little glittery border. And when this dries, the glue is going to dry. Uh, it's not going to dry white like that. It's going to be more so clear. And then it's going to leave because this one has the sparkle in it. It's going to leave that glittered effect around it but if you were just to get the regular Mod Podge without the sparkle um it would just have the like glossed finish it wouldn't have this glitter that you see on here so i want to flipping this around which doesn't have any of the Mod Podge on it so it's kind of dry and it's actually going to rub this off because it went too much around the picture now this picture, we did it at JCPenney. So I think it had like a gloss finish on it or something. So that's probably why it's easy to wipe the unwanted stuff off the edge. Okay. You definitely have to let it dry before you do anything else with it as far as like hanging it up or anything. Any spots that look extra thick, I'm just taking my hand. As you can see, they've gotten very messy, and that's because I'm using that's because I'm using this instead of the brush. It's not as messy when you're doing it with a brush. So I'm just gonna take a little more and work down this edge right here because I want to make sure it's sealed. your fingers to press it down push out any air push out the air that may be in there sorry if I'm talking a little low it's actually nap time right now so my kids are asleep so I'm trying to get this done now so if I'm talking a little bit low that's why I don't want to wake them up my daughter, at least, I know for sure she sleeps. My son likes to pretend he sleep and then <laughs> pop up out of his room and say his nap is over. So, all right, we have that. That's looking pretty good. So, before anything is like super set, I just wanna make sure while I can shift it a little that it's exactly where I want it to be positioned good to me rubbing off any extra and I think with the gloss of this picture if there's anything else afterwards that I go back and I want to like gently flake off it looks like I will be able to you don't want to do too much scratching at it because you can't scratch the finish obviously of your picture so you don't want to do that Okay. 
show. Let's take a look at it. A little adjusting. Like I said, while it's wet, what I'm doing right now is sliding it while well, I can still move it to make sure it's positioned right where I want it. And since my hands are pretty messy right now, I'm making more of a mess than I normally would, but that's okay because I can always go back and gently just gently get it off. This isn't even coming off right now. Down now that I have it positioned like I want it. All right, everyone. So I am back, and the canvas has had a chance to dry, and this is the finished product. So as you can see there, it has the border around the edge that I explained. I really do like how that turned out. I think the colors go well, and like I said, this grayish, greenish color almost. It has like some teal flex in it goes perfectly with the colors I have in my front room. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. Very easy project. I'm even more excited that I used what I already had on hand. I didn't purchase anything more to make this, so I didn't spend you know, any extra money putting it together. Now I do notice as right here, when you see me pushing, it is popping up a little bit. You wanna make sure to prevent that, that you get that, that Mod Podge, you get that paste, um, right up there to the edge and put a nice firm press down on it i will go back around and fill that in and i have a spot of i'll show you that this is why i was saying you don't want to go too thick with your layers so you see how that hasn't dried because it's just like a thick line of it i'm gonna go back and smooth that out but yes i'm very happy with how this turned out as you can see above my head um this is a canvas that i actually purchased as a part of a picture package and so I'm gonna hang this one right up next to that. So if you have any, you know, old home decor lying around and you're wondering how can you give it new life, if you can salvage it, make it into something new, go ahead and give this a try. We all have, you know, lots of pictures hanging around. This is what's on my daughter's one year birthday and she'll actually be two in a few months here so it's nice to look back on make a nice project of it and then you have something very nice to display around your home if you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment down below like and share this video around so that everybody can have a chance to make some of these fun projects thank you for watching everyone and i will see you in my next video bye guys